five old board games from around the world. Board games have been around for thousands of years. Some have become extremely popular and have survived even until the modern day, but some have been lost to history whilst others are on the brink of falling from the pages of history forever. But now we will look at some of the oldest and unique board games that have spread across the world. So let's start at number one. Number one, Senate. Senate is a board game from ancient Egypt. The oldest writings or hieroglyphs of the game Senate dates back to around 3100 BCE. The name Senate is thought to mean game of passing and Senate is thought to be one of the oldest known board games from around the world. Boards have been found in first dynasty Egyptian tombs and are thought to be part of Senate, remnants of the original boards. The oldest whole boards dates back to the Middle Kingdom, with images depicting the game being found on walls in various tombs across many years. Though across that time, the game has evolved from just being a fun game to representing the passing of the car or vital spark of a human into the afterlife. Therefore, the game was mentioned in the Book of the Dead. Senate has been found in various other nearby cultures where it is thought the game was passed on during trading with these different cultures. Nobody knows the exact rules of the game, but many historians have made their own rules based on the pieces that are part of the game. The board has 30 squares and are arranged in three rows of 10. The game is based on strategy, positioning of pieces and luck. There are no official rules, so the rules for the game are different depending upon area or personal beliefs. But despite the lack of universal rules, the game Senate has lasted all these years and shouldn't be forgotten soon. Have you ever played the game Senate? Number 2. Patoli Patoli is one of the oldest known games found in the Americas. Like Senate, Patoli is also a game of strategy and luck that was played by commoners and nobles alike. The game was a popular pastime as it was known in many cultures and all across pre-Columbian Mesoamerica or Southern North America as it is better known nowadays. Mesoamerica is one of the five places in the world where civilization arose independently, this game being part of that area's culture. Many groups of people have all played Patoli, or at least a version of the popular game, despite geographic distances and over the spread of time. These groups include Toltecs, the Aztecs, Mayans, and other groups of people in that area. Patoli is a race war where gambling of personal possessions like blankets or gold were heavily involved. However, in some extreme cases, other personal possessions were played. These included homes or at some extreme points, the freedom of one's family. Playing Patoli was taken seriously due to the potential loss of precious items and accepting a game was not to be taken lightly. The board is usually made from rubber or leather and is in the shape of an X. The aim of the game is to move your pieces from one end of the board to the other before your opponent manages the same on their half of the X. This continues until all personal possessions have been lost or the opponent's personal possessions have been won. Have you ever played this game before? Number 3. Chess 
Chess is a two-player board game played on a checkered board with 64 squares. The game is popular around the world with millions of players and international competitions. Chess is believed to be a version of the Indian game Chaturanga from before the 7th century. Since then, chess has spread from Asia into Europe by the 9th century and the rules were standardised in the 19th century. The game has 16 pieces and these include one king, one queen, two rooks, two bishops, two knights and eight pawns. Each piece moves differently and the aim of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king by placing it in an inescapable position. Chess is a game of strategy and tactics to capture other pieces from your opponent until a draw occurs or the king is checkmated. The international governing body, FIDE, controls championships and awards titles to winners and professionals in the game. However, the way chess is played is being changed with the introduction of AI. Since the second half of the 20th century, chess engines have been programmed to play chess and even win against some of the best human players. Until 1997, the computer, Deep Blue, defeated the then reigning champion, Gary Kasparov. Chess has lasted for centuries and is still popular and evolving all the time with new additions from new variations to new players in the form of computers. What do you think will be next? Number 4. Go. Go is an abstract strategy board game for two players in which the aim of the game is to surround more territory than your opponent. The game was invented in China around 2500 years ago and is believed to be the oldest board game continuously played since invention. The International Go Federation released findings that in 2016 there were over 46 million people worldwide who knew how to play Go with most being found in Southeast Asia. The playing pieces are called stones and they are either black or white. The players take it in turn to place the stones on empty intersections on the Go board. Once placed, the stones cannot be moved unless captured. Capturing works when a stone or a group of stones are surrounded on all sides by the opponent pieces. The winner is determined by counting each player's surrounded territory and any captured stones. The standard board game is a 19 by 19 grid with 361 intersections, but there are smaller boards available for beginners. Since invention, Go has become an important part of different cultures and is classed as more complex than chess due to a larger board and longer average playing time. But all of this is just minor compared to the number of choices players can make in the game. More decisions can be made in Go than atoms in the universe. Have you played Go? Number 5 Backgammon Backgammon is a two-player game where each player has 15 pieces that move between 24 triangles according to the roll of two dice. The aim of the game is to be the first to move all 15 checkers off the board. Backgammon is one of the oldest known board games with its roots being traced back nearly 5,000 years to Mesopotamia. Backgammon is also a member of the Tables family of board game, one of the oldest classes of board games ever. Backgammon is a game of luck and strategy. The player has to decide from a number of moves and counter moves in the hope to move all chapters off the board first. 
Like chess, backgammon has been a focus and interest of computer scientists, something that has led to more world-class beating computers capable of beating many human opponents. Backgammon is not controlled by an international authority, yet international rules have been adopted and agreed upon by tournaments around the world. Have you played backgammon? Are any of you a professional at playing backgammon? Please let me know. Now that you have heard about some of the strangest and oldest board games still within human memory, what do you think of them? Would you want to play any, or have you already? Which one sounds the most interesting? Please answer in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to always be up to date with the latest releases from the History Scholar.